Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite winter drinks to give as a gift. This little drink that's in this little package is called Russian Tea or Friendship Tea. Now, when I was about 19 years old, I worked in a doctor's office and this sweet little nurse that I worked with brought this in to give us as a Christmas gift and I fell in love and ever since, it's been one of my favorite things for the holidays. So let me show you how to make it. It's going to be kind of hard to show you like in the camera, but this is what one recipe I'm going to show you today makes. This is a lot, right? Look at all that. And it is amazing. So we're going to make that together. Now let's talk about ingredients, okay? I have brought in to my craft room a lot of the ingredients that you need because sometimes when I tell you a recipe, if you live in another part of the world, you may not know exactly what I'm talking about. And I thought if I showed you the items, then you could find something equivalent where you are. So one of the things you're going to need is instant tea. This one is Lipton and it's unsweetened iced tea and it's decaffeinated. Now unsweetened is important because we're going to sweeten this ourselves. So you'll need instant tea. You will also need lemonade. Now we always just say country time lemonade. This is the one we use. Now this one is sweetened. So remember, you can't do anything about that. This one's sweetened and that's fine. The recipe calls for this product. Now this is just an instant lemonade flavored drink mix. So you could probably find something like it in your neck of the woods. And everyone knows this one, I think, because this was the astronaut to drink, Tang. <laughs> so you're going to need an entire container of Tang for this recipe I'm showing you today. You will also need some sugar and some cinnamon and some cloves. But the big thing was I wanted to show you those so that you would know exactly what we were talking about. Now what we're going to do is we're going to package this tea for gifts. And I want to show you some stuff. I know I'm showing you a lot of packages, but the reason is I want you to see what I'm working with. These guys I bought at um, Walmart, and these are the these are storage jars. They're four ounce, and these are storage jars that are half pint. I thought these would be super cute for the tea. And we're also going to be using this adorable owl mug to make a gift out of. I just think this is a perfect kind of gift for the winter months, so let's get started with it. So this is that pint jar, and I'm just going to pour some of the tea into it. And it smells so good with the cinnamon and the cloves and the orange and the lemon. Now, when you're mixing this, when you're making your recipe, be sure to put it into a Ziploc bag because it's so much easier to shake it and mix it together in a Ziploc than it is if you try to stir it because it gets really powdery and kind of um, cloudy. So, so I fill my jar up almost to the top, not completely to the top. Then I'm going to put my lid on. And close that down. Now this drink can be used for a long time. It'll last a really long time and they only need two tablespoons per cup of water. Okay so the first one we're going to package is this little guy. He is so cute this little container and I want to show you something. This is a tag that I made a while back using my um, Made with Love stamp set and it's got the little measuring spoons and it says from my kitchen just for you. So I'm going to use this because I already have this one in my stash but this is a good example of what you can do on your Russian tea or your friendship tea. Now on the back of it I'm going to write the, in the instructions so that whoever gets it will know how to fix their tea. Now you can do this with a marker or just with your pen, whatever you want to do. And I'm just going to write, add two tablespoons to a mug of hot water and enjoy. And then I can do Merry Christmas. May May. Cool. So our tag is all ready and they know what to do. And so, and I think at the, you know what I'll do? I'll put at the top, I'll put friendship tea or Russian tea. It's, it's both. And that way they'll know. You could also do this and include the recipe form if you wanted to. Now, this is, some of you may have seen these before, this is called a fat quarter. And this is something that you use a lot in quilting. Um, and I saw this last year, or maybe even two years ago, and it had the cutest little Christmas pattern, so I purchased it. And let me show you what we're going to do. This is just fabric that's already pre-cut. Um, you don't have to buy it off the bolt. It comes in that little roll. And what I'm going to do is do a little fabric top for the to go on top of the little jar. And so I'm just going to lay this guy out and see how much I'm going to need. That's too much. Let's go about something like that. 
And I'm gonna cut away what I need for that. If you do it like this, you can kind of make sure you've got the right amount of fabric and then go back if you're making multiples of these and just cut the same shape for the rest of your jars. That way you'll know exactly how much you need. This is just kind of an easy way to find out for sure. So we got our little piece of fabric off. Now I'm going to take my pinking shears and I'm just going to trim around this, kind of making a circle. You don't really have to do this part. You could just leave it square and just pinking, pinking shear the edges of that. But I just think this will be really cute to kind of have this little rounded edge instead of just being straight. I could have folded this, but it is rolling because it's been in a roll pretty bad, so I'm just doing it this way. And notice I'm not being perfectly neat, and it's not going to matter when we get it on the jar. It'll be super cute. So now we have kind of a circle, not exactly. Now I want to show you a tip. You're going to take the fabric and put it on top, and you want that little ruffled edge, but it's kind of hard to hold it there while you're trying to tie a ribbon on it. So take a rubber band and place that on it, and let me show you what that'll do. That just kind of cinches it and gathers it right where you want it. See how that does? And you can just kind of pull it into place, and that rubber band is kind of acting like an extra pair of hands for you, which I think is awesome. Just get that tucked in there good. And I'm actually putting it under the lip because it makes a cuter ruffle that way. And just adjust this as you need to. That's the cool thing about the rubber band too. Now we can go back and put on a ribbon and leave the rubber band there because when you give this to somebody, when they take the lid off, if they want to put it back, the rubber band makes it super easy to do that. Okay, a little bit of ribbon. So I have this little shiny ribbon. I'm just going to tie it around here like so. Let me see if I can wrap it a couple times. Yeah, that'll be cute. All right, and then tie it here. And I'm just gonna tie a bow, but I wanna go ahead and put this little tag on. So I'm gonna wrap it around the little knot of this tag and tie them together. Then just trim these ribbons so that they're about the same on both sides cute enough. And there is one little gift that you can give to somebody in with a Russian tea in the little container. And you could do a full size jar or whatever, but this is a good way to do this, to give a little gift. I think this is super, super cute. So that's one container. Let's look at another. I thought it'd be cute to do this in a mug. So let me show you what we're going to do. When you're filling your bags, you might even want to think about using a funnel. I just had this tea pitcher and I was able to use that. So that made it really easy. So just pour some tea into our bag. Now, I'm going to use the little zip tie closures that come with it because that way if the person wants to, when they open this, they can go back and just seal it right back up and they won't have to find something to put it in. They can just keep it in this bag. Now, make sure the bags you're using are food safe. These are treat bags. So, you see now we got a little bag of tea and I'm going to stick it down into this little mug just like so, but that's not cute enough. I'm going to clean some of that off of there. That's not cute enough. We need ribbons and tags and all that good stuff, so we're going to do that too. Okay, so this is our little mug, and this is our little bag of tea. Now, you might have noticed that the tea, when you put it in here, kind of drops inside real far. I'm going to show you how to remedy that. Okay, so what you'll do is take some candy or even some cookies or something like that and just drop into the bottom of the mug to fill it up a little bit so that your tea will sit up a little higher because you want it to be able, you want to be able to see it good. So put in enough candy to give this a place to sit, and I'm going to add a little bit more because I want it to sit up real high. It's a big mug, <laughs> so we want to use a lot. Okay, so we'll add our tea to the top. So this way they get, that's how I wanted to sit. See how cute that is? So this way they'll get candy and their friendship tea. All right, I'm going to wrap this little twisty tie around like so. And I already have this little gift tag made from my stash that I do with that same um, tags on that same stamp set. So I'll link the video below for this. You can see how these tags were made. But this is um, a gift handcrafted with care for you. And that's going to go right here on this little guy. But first we need a bow up there. So I just got some red ribbon and I'm just going to tie a little bow on the top. Snip the excess away, like so. 
And then I'm going to add this guy to the top. And you know whenever we leave these little thingies, what that's for, it's actually so you can wrap it around your presents and tie your tags on. That's what we leave those little tag pieces for. So I'm going to use them for that. Just tie that on. And it also gives us another little ribbon to show in the back. So look how cute that is. So there's another little gift you can give somebody. They get candy, they get the tea and the mug. Of course, before you do it, write the recipe on the back. I totally forgot on this one. But write the recipe on the back and then, or you know, the instructions for it on the back of your tag and there's a perfect little gift. Then the last way I'm gonna show you today to use these is with these little mini cups. If you're having a party at your house, how cute would this be? Let's open these guys up. So these little cups come with the little cup and the lid and they seal shut. And I just think if you were having a Christmas party and you sat these around decorated, they would be so cute. So I'm gonna fill this little guy up. Just like that. And then put the lid on it. And this is gonna be just the right amount to do a cup of this. And the cool thing is if you if it's not, because some people might like a little sweeter, you can always add more to the drink. You might could have a little um, sugar sitting beside your tea station or what have you. But look how cute that is. A cute little serving size. So let's decorate them. So with the one and three quarter punch, I'm gonna punch out some of this green paper, which is super cute. And watch, this is gonna sit right inside that little lip. Isn't that cool? See how it just stays in there? That is awesome. So we got that piece. And then for our white piece on top, we're just gonna use a one and a quarter punch. So we got a piece of paper here. I'm just gonna punch out one and a quarter punch. And we gotta take that back out of there so we can glue it all in. And then we're just gonna write, add to a mug of hot water. Then see, you can sit these out like on your little table at Christmas. Maybe maybe you have a little mug area or like um, a little coffee section. We like to do that because we have so many people who like coffee and then we have so many that don't really care about it. We do a little coffee station and then if you want it, you can go over there and get it. And if you don't, you don't have to mess with it. So it's kind of out of the way. So we're gonna glue that one little piece down. And then the second piece on top of that. I think this little guy is super cute. And you can make a whole bunch of these and sit them in um, like in a little uh, little bowl or something like that or have them stacked up around. And that's so cute. Look at how cute that is. I love it. And I got these at um, Walmart, if I didn't tell you. They were easy to find in the um, aluminum foil section. So let's just take a look at all the cute ways you can give friendship or Russian tea, whichever one you want to call it. This little jar, this little guy at your family functions, and this little jar with this cute little tag on it. There's so many ways to give this little gift, and I love it. I think it's the coolest thing ever. So I hope you try it, and I hope you enjoy it, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.